Hello to all you tiny truck lovers. Thank you for watching this video. Uh, a couple of things I want to say about tiny trucks. Uh, we love tiny trucks that are scale. Uh, we love them in all different shapes and sizes. That's a funny shape. That's a nice size. And uh, we like doing crazy weird things like 3D printing motors because uh, that's cool. And it's scale and it fits in a tiny truck. So all that stuff together means that there's some good things happening around here on this bench. And one of the new things that's happening is this. This is the ZU0031 R4 scale tranny from RC Four Wheel Drive. Why is that cool? Because this is cool. That's why. That's all. It's just cool. Except the problem with this, as we all know, is that uh, you can't get a motor on it. There's no motor mount. And you can't put a transfer case on it because there's no transfer case mount or whatever. Well, we fixed all that. Um, the first thing that happened was... Uh, Ryan designed up this fantastic motor mount. Thank you, Ryan. And uh, he does such a great job, I don't know what to say. I machined this thing off of his design. Hey, it works. I don't know what to say. The guy's a great designer. So, this uh, sits right on here on this transmission, just like this. Hey, look! Now we can put a motor on it. That's awesome. And then you end up with something like this. Yep, that's awesome. And then you can put something like a scale motor right on top of all this. Oh, yeah. Ooh, now we're talking. Okay, that's cool. So we left a couple of holes on the side of the uh, transmission mount because uh, you need to some way to mount this up. There's already two holes on the top of the tranny right here from RC four wheel drive. You can put an M3 screw in there. And we left you some mounting holes on the sides here for your own little brackets or whatever as well in case you want those. And it's narrow enough that it fits in an SCX with your own custom brackets. You can also use it in pretty much any other custom build you can possibly imagine. So, now that you can put a 540 motor on there, it's worth buying it. This is a cheap, good tranny, full of steel gears. I like it. Use a low turn motor though, because they're geared kind of high. That's what I'm seeing. Problem with ours is that um, when we were trying to put a scale transfer case on the back of this, a married transfer case, thanks to Rob, Lone Ranger, uh, this was all his idea. We realized that this shaft was too small, and I'll show you what the difference is right now. Um, let me get this part way assembled here so I can show you the difference in the two shafts. That'll give you an idea what's going on. Alright. So this is the shaft that came out of it. Okay. It's got a bearing seat. And then the gear. And then the shaft and an output hole. And it's all one piece. So... This cannot be used anymore because obviously it's way too short to get it through the rest of the gear case for the married transfer case part and have an output on it. We fixed all that. So, but to do so, we had to get a new design for a full custom gear. Uh, we had to get all new shaft designed. Get the spacing all perfect. So, when you take this apart to make this happen, first of all, take the back cover off. This cover four screws, pull off the back cover, and then I want you to take out the black shaft with the gear on it, out. Inside this little back cover is two bearings in the bottom. They might be stuck on the shaft, which is also fine, but the two bearings have to get split up, okay? One of them is just for a spacer. The other bearing is actually being used as a bearing. So the small bearing is going to go back inside here, and stay in the back of the casing forever. The big bearing is going to come out and get used somewhere else. Okay. So the first operation to get this set up on the married transfer case is you're going to take the gear from the gear kit. You'll see that there's four gears in this in this uh, unit. When you get the married transfer case from the LRT from GCM Racing, 
you're going to have four gears. Okay? One of these gears, only one of them, has a little bump on the front flat face. That's it. Only one gear. And that gear is going to go on the super long shaft that comes in the kit. Okay? So, put it on there like this. You cannot get this mixed up because all of these are pre-dotted. Pre There's holes specifically made in exactly the right spots for you to assemble this the right way. So, this top shaft with this fancy gear with the bump is going to line up not with the flat end. It's going to line up with the long end and then the hole. Okay? So, we're going to put some Loctite on that and uh, get this entire thing built up here because uh, tiny trucks are awesome. And uh, here we go. I'm going to goop my Loctite right into that hole. The gear has to be in the right spot. You cannot mess this up. And I guarantee it because... Uh, crank them right on. Because um, there's only a hole in the right spot. There's not even a flat or anything to... Like, you can't mess this up. You just can't. So you're going to put this gear on. And then I want you to stick it back in the transfer... Or back in the uh, bottom of the RC four-wheel drive transmission. Okay? Okay. Put it back in, huge big long shaft sticking out. And then you're going to get the small bearing. The small bearing is going to go back on the bottom shaft. I think that was the big bearing, was it? No, nope, that's the right one. So put the small bearing back on the shaft. And then you're going to put the cover back on. Good. I'm sure I did that right, but I want to check just to make sure. Instead of putting it on the shaft, I'm going to put it in the case and make sure it's the right one. Oh yeah, it is the right one. Yeah, the small bearing goes back in the case. There we go. Yeah, perfect. Okay, and then you ended up with this. So the case half is back on. Got it? Put in the four screws that hold the tail shaft casing on. I want to thank Rob for having this brainchild idea. I think there's probably a lot of scale guys out there who saw this transmission and thought, I must have this transmission. But, uh, Rob couldn't have been satisfied unless there was a married transfer case on it. So, thanks Rob. Thanks for calling me up and getting this set up. We're very, very happy to make this product because we like tiny trucks. And this is a good one. So, see what I did? Done. Now what you're gonna do is put in all the bearings for the transfer case. Okay, this is the LRT right here that marries right onto the transmission and you need to put in all the bearings. You'll notice in the kit, you only got five bearings and you can't figure out why when there's actually six bearing holes. I'll tell you why, because the one that you just took off of this stock shaft, the big bearing you just took off of the stock shaft is gonna go into this case too. So that makes six total. So plop in the six bearings, five from us, one from the back of your transmission. Put those in there, and then we're going to bolt this on. See how there's the four holes here? Those four holes are going to match up to these four holes right here. And you just put this over top of the shaft like that. Slide it right on there. And then you can line up the four holes there in the right spot and bolt them in. Okay. So I'm going to do that because it's the right time. And of course, put some Loctite in there. You don't want the gears getting crunched by some kind of a screw that's backing out. I will tell you, speaking of crunchy things, I will tell you that the whole this uh, this case from RC Four Wheel Drive, the actual transmission case, I'm pretty sure it's bead blasted before they go out for shipping, and because of that, there's usually a whole bunch of grit in that hole 
where this little tiny screw from the GCM kit is supposed to bolt into. Okay? There's usually some grit in there. So when you are putting the screw in for the first time, you might find it's a kind of a little crunchy feeling. Uh, be nice to it. Be gentle with it. And it'll work its way out. I think I'm missing a screw here. I'm going to go get one. And there we can put four screws in it. A little bit of Loctite is all you need. I'm pretty sure I went way overboard on this Loctite, but that's all right. All right, so we ended up with this. And the four screws are bolted in there. You can see how the alignment is. Got that? Okay. Now the next thing you're going to do is put on the big gear. You've got three gears left in your kit. You've got two big gears with flat faces and one small gear Okay, with a flat face. Take one of the big gears and slide it down onto the shaft. You can only put it on one way because the set screw will do nothing if you put it on the wrong way. It should be super obvious. The set screw side of the gear is going to go down into the LRT case first. Well, I'm going to Loctite that up before I slide it on there. And I highly recommend that you take a minute to actually align these parts right here. So if you stick your wrench into the bottom shaft, you can turn the case holding the shaft like this. You can turn this so that this you have the most accessibility to get out that set screw on that gear. Okay, so I'm going to slide this gear over here. Do, do, do. I think I put the screw in too tight. Yep. And then I'm going to crank that screw in there. As I said before, the GCM shafts have a hole in it made for that set screw, and you can't put that on wrong. You just can't. So now you've got the set screw in there. See it? Right there wee bit of an angle for the case but not much just crank that in and then build the center shaft okay you're gonna take the the small gear and you're going to put it onto the short shaft and there's a set screw spot on that too so I mean this is so easy you just grab the shaft the smallest shaft get your gear the little gear put it on the little shaft you can only put them on the one way, there's no way to get that wrong. And then you can gobber your Loctite right in there, yeehaw. Totally useless. This shaft just rolls on bearings, it's an intermediate shaft, it has no other side forces or nothing on it, so pretty easy. And then you can just drop this right in here. It goes in the top shaft hole beside the other one. See? goes right in there and then you can build your bottom shaft and the bottom shaft is going to be this little shaft that has the hole in it as well as the flat uh, set screw spot and you're gonna take the last big gear and marry those up together you can't get them on wrong either because if you try to put it on together wrong it'll, it'll be obvious I'm going to jam a bunch of Loctite in this one here too. This uh, should be pretty much bomb proof. Uh, we've got, there's that bottom hole for the uh, output, a bearing seat, and the set screws in there with the Loctite. And then of course you can stab this thing through the case towards the front of the motor. Got plopped, just like that. And there we go. We've got three gears into the case. The front output is showing up right here. The rear output is coming out right there. And we're going to put some grease on, which I forgot. Yep, 
You guys have heard this a hundred times from the GCM crowd, but uh, we're all about this white lithium grease here, so feel free to uh, follow in our footsteps and goober white grease all over your gears. Why do I like white grease? Well, the water doesn't seem to penetrate it at all. In fact, it's really, really hard to wash off, no matter what it's on or how long it's been there. It just seems really hard to get it off, so that's kind of a good sign for grease. And uh, I'm going to grease up my gears here. A little bit extra in the middle, blop, blop. You jam your hex wrench in the middle there and give it a turn. And then you end up with something like this. All greased up and ready to go. That's going to work forever. Like, ever. And uh, the last thing you're going to do is put the case on. The outside case half goes on and it kind of clicks in place there. Wipe off the grease excess. Always wipe grease on your jeans. If you have an opportunity to put grease on your jeans, please do it. And then there's a couple of little tiny screws that go in here. And you need a 050 hex wrench for those. And there we go. I need one more for that. There we go. You'll notice I did not put Loctite on these on purpose. And then you can just check and verify that everything's turning nicely there. If you have a look at the front output, front output moves right along there. It's awesome. And, uh, hmm, surprise. There we go. The LRT is now on the transmission. It's uh, ready to go on a truck. We put the motor mount in as per the uh, RC four wheel drive instructions with their motor, except we didn't use their motor. And uh, we're now gonna take this assembly and drop it right into Dana's class one in uh, our GCM prototype stuff that we're working on for that. This is gonna be awesome. Set up your uh, LRT case guys Put a link in the comments if you have a truck that you're going to build this with and we want to see it of course because we love your tiny trucks and uh enjoy your builds i think i need to clean up around here see you later